god. Looks like we're gonna force Vegeta, everyone! Ooh! Just before I get Inji up, as it's the start of the episode, boom! School of Hard Knocks. That's how my life was when I was a child. There's a professor I look up to as a mentor of sorts. I just can't do this anymore. I'm trying to gather evidence to prove he's been abusing his power over others. So I want to get verbal testimony. I don't want this to blow up, you know. So I haven't spoken with the guild or the cops. I'd like to request a careful investigation from you guys. Anonymous. Ooh. School of Hard Knocks. I accept, dude. Huh, this was real serious sounding. Yeah, seriously. Yeah, and I understand why I don't want to go to the guild or the police about it. Well, convenient, because we're right here. <laughs> I really hope we can help them while we're here. Oh my god. You might learn more about what's going on in the Institute while we're working on it too. That'd be two birds with one stone. Goddamn right, Barry. Goddamn right, she's learning. Makes sense. Sounds harmless to me, but uh, what's your take? Barry brought up a good point. We can get some info on the Institute while we work this case. Pretty vague though, they didn't give their name or the professor they're accusing. Really going out of their way to make our job difficult. Honestly. Well we are chapter 4 now, stuff's gonna get harder right, you know what I'm saying? Naming names in this case may result in the professor or other parties threatening the whistleblower. I believe our client just prefers to, eh, uh, on the side of caution. Yeah that tracks. Fair enough. Rosette, can you handle recording our conversations? Certainly. We gotta be careful who we talk to about this though. Client doesn't want word of this getting out. Let's start with people unrelated to the Institute. That way we don't accidentally hit a nerve. Ah, oh, somebody's in my eye already, good damn. That makes sense to me. I imagine there will be plenty of those here in the artisanal district. Let's get started. Ooh, it's time, ladies and gentlemen. Start working. God damn right, it is. School of Hard Knocks. An abusive professor. Ooh. And where are these topics of conversation? One up, one down. Well, we'll go to the down ones since we're nearby. Let's roll. Oh, wait a minute. I've not been down here. Ooh. How did you get your bike here, my dude? Is that a ramp? I hope so. <laughs> not this way. Oh, I can't. Oh, that, that's actually a route. Oh. Oh, we're on the stairs. I pointed at. Ooh, that makes sense. Is this a ramp or else I'm confused? I I've seen you before. No, how did you get your bike down here? <laughs> oh, well. I like it. This is cars and bikes and just random places. And there's a cat. I agree, Mr. Cat. Uh, wait, how do I get to this place? Is it that? Oh god, this place is confusing. To what? Uh, I'll see you guys when I work it out. <laughs> Where the hell am I going? There's just cats everywhere. Where am I? My god. How the hell did I get here? How did I get. Well, I guess we go to the upper one first. God damn, my brain just. Oh no, I didn't want to talk to you. I want to discuss the. Boosted Professor, that's right. Yes, yeah, it's the same. Can we talk? God's sake, game, that's all I want in my life, and you never give it to me. Honestly. A professor abusing their assistants? Hmm. Well, I'm not sure why you're asking me specifically about it, to be honest. I just work in Vern's procurement division. I don't attend the institute or work with them directly at all. We know, and that's exactly the angle we want. Word travels, you know. I get that, but I haven't really heard anything about it, though. Sorry. God damn it, Barnaby, you're useless. Vern and the institute are very closely linked, though, and that does create some conflicts of interest sometimes. I may not have heard about it, but it is believable. It's very possible the two sides are stressing each other out. Could you tell us a bit more about how Vern and the Institute work together? Good point, Fairy. Good chime in. I like that. The Vern Company awards grants the Institute of Science to research and develop new products on their behalf. That all that allows the Vern Company to curate their products from with research from the Institute's experts. Oh wow, well, that's real neat. God damn right. By recall, Vern can trace its roots back to the old Artisans Guild and the Institute itself. I always figured they worked well together because of that. God, your music's so chill. They did part way more relaxing than some of the previous ones. This is much more serene. They did past tense. They had a good relations until their senior advisor was still there. Well, their senior advisor was still there. As we know, the first episode of the day, me brain not good. Alas, she left Basel some time ago. Now Vernon and the Institute hardly collaborate at all. It's every project for itself. Maybe that ass hat in charge scares her off. Thanks for the info. That helps a lot. Could be the abusive professor. Now how in the hell do I get down here? Uh, that's really simple. How did I fail that? <laughs> it's just here and then here and then it's there, right? Oh, because I went down this. 
I was like, ooh, shiny things, and I had to go. Hello, Inga. How's my baby doing? Mwah. Kiss smooches. It's not weird. Do you not kiss your car? You're the weird one. No, I don't want to talk to you. God, I know about this. Let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. Yes! Life is good. My days are me. Hmm. Doesn't... Sorry, I just blew, it, blew out your eardrums, didn't I? <laughs> I'm not sorry. Hmm. Doesn't ring a bell. Sorry. My son is studying at the Institute, and he's never told me about anything like that. It doesn't prove it one way or the other, of course. I just haven't heard about it. Did he tell you about any other stuff? Anything it helps, but dude. Hmm. Well... Sometimes I do hear about people in the same lab bussing heads over funny. I heard these grumble, those grumble. Oh. I'm my wake up now. I heard these grumblings about two professors going at it. Even seems like a pretty stressful place. With all the greed and infighting over projects, it sounds like it's got everybody at each other's throat. That makes sense. Yeah, it might be what started the harassment. Do you know which professor specifically? I already can't remember. Sorry. I feel like there was at least one Professor Hamilton's students involved. That's all I got. It was Katra all along. I always knew he was evil. I knew it. I see. I wonder if this professor was jealous of someone else or somebody envied them instead. Well, thanks for the info. All the same. My dude, you are very helpful. You're like Barnaby. I hope you heard that. You suck, Barnaby. Go let him know that, man. I think that's all there is to see in the Artisal District. We should check out Newtown next. Since we cannot use the Aero Tram, we have to, hey, we get to walk down the stairs I just saw. We'll either have to walk there or drive. Let's take a walk. It'll help us get more acquainted with the city and its people. Gotta be kidding me. Walk is a pain in the air. It's literally just a few flights of stairs, my dude. Honestly. If you don't been to a European city before, you walk everywhere. Well, I for one think a stroll would be lovely. I agree, Arne. Me too. Let's make our way to the bridge then. Now, can I find the way there without getting lost? So I need to go... Either, okay, we'll go forward or left. I remember, I remember. Also, this place, seriously. Look at this shiz. Why is Trails pretty now? This is not meant to happen. It's meant to be all fuggly, but it has its own charm. Not even. No, this is actually pretty. My God. Oh, I can't. I wanted to walk down them. Not fast travel game. God. It's you, isn't it? It was blue hair. Even the locals barely use it. He was two seconds, Aaron. My God, you lazy chuff. Suppose he's knowing Aaron, he's probably hungover. That's because most either go by car or use the Aero Tram. You rode the Aero Tram, right? How was it? It had the best view, but it was a little scary too. To be fair, I don't like cable cars. I've seen too many films. I think it's going to fall, okay? I know you think that as well. It's not just me. I'm not crazy. Didn't think there'd be a different difference in ranks. Have you never used the Aero Tram in the past, fam? Nah, I got to write when I came here a couple of years ago. Just had a regular old ticket. From what I hear, security within the city has undergone a massive overhaul. After the war, the government ordered a total reform. Because Lecter and his gang were causing shenanigans here, weren't they? Yes. Don't find it surprising that they would want to be very careful with an experimental city that is very nearly a national secret. Ooh. Okay, but tell me how that puts us at a lower rank than a bunch of kids here on a school trip. <laughs> Thank you, Aaron. Don't think it's that they're high. I think it's more that we're low. She's a smart cookie old fairy. Eh, so it's not a big deal. As long as we can drive. By the way, pretty sure we'll eventually bump into your classmates. You okay on that end? I'm fine. I've explained things to them for the most part. They might happen upon some info before us. So if we see them, let's make it a point to ask. I don't mind her school friends. I mean, Albert's a bit... He's a bit too obsessed intense, you know what I'm saying? I know he's protective, but it comes across, you know, a bit too far. Ooh, okay. So some stuff I've... is not new. Well, I'm, I'm going to ignore all of the actual stuff because we're doing a force for Gene. That's more important right now. And that's what we're doing. So, excuse me, students. I'm going to ignore all of you. Although this might trigger an event. No, it won't. I won't talk to you. Don't trigger. Sometimes in this game, you get even slightly close to the red thing. It starts the conversation, but no. We're good. Oh, this is a new one. And what the hell is the force for G then? Who's the force PG and who's not? I don't know, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, uh, how do I do this then? <laughs> Man, this is super awkward game. Why would you do this? I don't, I want to keep this as all one episode, as you know. How would I? <laughs> um, well, I guess this is going to be a bit awkward. I think I'm going to have to talk to each of these because I don't know who's who. Uh, and I might have to cut and trim stuff and put it in other episodes and whatnot. 
So be prepared for if this looks awkward and weird, I do apologize, but this is very unhelpful, Falcon. God damn it. <laughs> I mean, uh, is it down here? Where do I go? I'm gonna make a guess, haven't I? I think it might be you. I'm making a guess. I'm hoping you're the f It is! It's trust in your willy, ladies and gentlemen. Therefore, I'd say those words, because that means different things over here. Can I not? I can't breach the topic, so I'm going to have to talk to you. God damn it. Welcome, welcome. What can I get you? I'll go wherever my heart takes me, and I'll bring my little shop along for the right. I've already told you about this. What the hell? Who knows what cutters I'll see next? Not the most practical business model, but it's what makes me happy, and my little niche has made me popular with the locals. A roaming cafe, huh? Most popular with the eggheads at the Institute. A common watering hole such as this would be a... Why is the music cutting out? What the hell? Will be a good place to gather information. Alrighty. Now I can talk to you, Mr. Willie. Hold on to Willie, ladies and gentlemen. We're going in. Don't know why I said that. Let me ask you something. Can we talk? Honestly. This episode's a mess. <laughs> Workplace harassment? I haven't heard anything about that. Sorry. My clientele are, are a lot more mellow. The faculty I get are pretty kind, actually. They treat their students and understudies to meals sometimes. Huh? Who specifically? That might help us narrow things down. So, uh, Professor Ariel, Associate Professor Tane, and Professor Callahan, too, but he doesn't, hasn't been around in a while. They always look pooped, like on death's door. There. Acting. Seriously. But when I talk to them, they all come across as normal, upstanding people. Oh, so just covering for the man, is that is that what you're saying? Mm. <laughs> uh, you better judge of that. Thank you, Willie. You're on the money. But I have noticed that some researchers from this specific lab have looked re really down in the dumps as of late. Workplace harassment will explain that. I don't want to jump to conclusions, but that lab's professor might have something to do with it. Well, if anything comes to mind, please let us know. Well, <laughs> uh, I'm sure I'm just overthinking things, but uh, thanks. I'll let you know. Cheers, Willie. Nice one. Looks like there's more story to it. More to the story than that. Does he not want to snitch, or does he not believe it? I see. Thank you for sharing that with us. Hmm. Willie's hiding something, the gentleman. But what? Uh, okay, so maybe he'll tell me by saying, uh, topic. Right? Hello? You are a topic. Maybe is it? Maybe the look around New Towns just. Just a general objective, I don't know. Hello! I already talked to you, but whatever. Whew, been really busy lately. Now I've got to stick the landing. Now it's my chance to make a name for myself. I refuse to lose to the guys. I'm going to smash that glass ceiling and make the board of directors just you watch. You go, girl! Respect on them. Ah, she's an office worker in Newtown. Average Joes like her can have better info than meets the eye. Let's talk to her and see what we can get. I bet she loves the gossip, so uh, let me ask you say. Let me ask you something. Yes! God damn, life is good. That's two out of three, right? Harassment? Honestly, that wouldn't surprise me. I've heard some nasty thing about some specific professors at the Institute. Really? I won't name names, but I've heard a thing or two from a friend of mine. She's a researcher at one of the labs there, and every night they're sleeping at the labs after unpaid overtime. That seems rife for a lawsuit, right? I don't think that's allowed. Uh, but I suppose it is Calvin. One little mistake during the day and they get torn to shreds. Oh, is it the oppressive man from intro? He was literally called oppressive man. It might be him. They say he's considered normal there. You just work until you drop. My friend, she she told me one night that she was having bad thoughts. And I had to talk to her out of it. One day. One day there'll be a force PG that's not about kidnapping this D-R-U-G-S nothing. One day, it won't happen though. That's horrible. Does the Institute not know about their working conditions? Oh, they do. It's fine. They don't want to do that, then they're not working hard enough. I get it. Oh, they do. There's fear that rules the roost there. Institute senior professors are like celebrities in their own right. Nobody can touch them. They control whether or not you have a career in this town. Burn, my own company. Everybody, they all go through the Institute's pipeline. Huh. Out of curiosity, who do you work for? It's all but good supply. They got a license from Vern to sell the goods. So it's not like I can speak up about it. Because then there goes my career! I get it, my darling. World travels fast. Yeah, that tracks. Vern Institute might as well be Basil. You speak up and you'll never work in this town again. This is not a very good work environment. I can only hope we find a way to right this injustice! 
cue epic music. Yes. I'm a hero, Lizzie. I, so I actually nailed that. I got, I managed to get the two that were actually related to the uh, the Forest G and not the actual story. I'd say that's about everyone worth talking to in Newtown. Yep. Now it's when we plot our next move. You know, there's still bits of phases that could use a sweep. Let's double check first. Okay. No, god damn it, game. Are you gonna make me to you're gonna make me talk to everyone, aren't you? Yeah, it's gonna do that. Well this might be a rounds plus four G. That's not the worst idea actually, is it? I know I like to I really do like it. To keep them compact. Because it upsets me when there's multiple different things. Because I can't make thumbnails to save my life when there's like five different topics. <laughs> like which one do I pick? Which one will people like? So, oh, I guess we're gonna be doing this. You got anything good for me? Damn, you're very cute, Lucy. Oh, so cute. You're nothing for Oh, ooh! Three L times, yes. Breezy hair tonic. Who's that gonna be for? Who likes their hair? Kincaid. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, how did I get that? That was a complete guess. I just thought, well, oh, he has. He looks like he looks after his hair, I guess, this is what is I was trying to say. How the hell did I get anyone? Oh, Kincaid. Oh, I didn't read the books, did I? No. Soup and toast. Two things. The only thing you need in life, Legend. Um. Where are the gifts? Oh no, I could do it from here, right? To do, I remember the buttons. That. Boom. You know me well. I know you look after your hair. I mean, look at that. That is a man who styles his hair, Legend. But that is hilarious that it was you. Anyway, so let's, uh... Okay, so I guess we'll do them. We're gonna do them. It's gonna be a two... Same with the... Two stuff in the same episode. I'm sorry, but that's just how this game is forcing me to do it, Legend. Ooh. Arms? Ooh. What have you got for me, my dude? Do you know what you want? Finally, some upgrades that are barely an upgrade. But we got to do it. That's a lot of money. That's like all of my money. <laughs> yeah. Be right back. Also, Fairy's weapon is called Sigma. I mean, we always knew. We all know that Fairy is a Sigma, so that makes sense. I agree, game. Oh, now they're much better. Um, okay. Sigma unit! <laughs> It's actually called a Sigma unit. I love that. Boom. Wait, why can't I not? Oh, I have done it. Okay. Well, that was nice. I Thanks for that. I hope to see you again. I hope to see you again as well, my dude. I'm now stacked. Let's roll. I do have to look at everything. Okay, it's going to be a double part. Ooh. Oh, that would have been a good screenshot. This building is Zebrel's ZCF and the Epstein Foundation. Eh? Ooh. The Foreign Tech Foundation established using your great grandfather's cash. Right. Damn. How famous it is, even in the Republic. It's kind of funny that it's been dumped over in the corner like this. Hmm. You're so rude, Aaron. Yes, give him the Death Stare Fairy. Give him it. <laughs> it's fine. But before all the big buildings were part of the Foundation's branch here, indeed, as, part, as a part of their downsizing the Republic, they moved to this location. Its performance in other countries remains stable, but... With tech going away it is, so natural there'll be a dip in business. Right, with the Zypher... No, I miss my old one. Arcus Union. What was it before again? I think they're doing the rounds of underground. Ramda. Mm. Fifth gen, co developed by Vernon Epstein. What the sixth gen would look like sparked a hell of a lot of conversation both before and after the war. Then they went and pulled what even the Empire's Rhymefer Company didn't dare do cut down foundation out of the equation. Ooh. It caused some pushback across the continent at first. Now their technology is well on the road to being available to the public. And they'll do anything to keep themselves in their current favourable position. I would imagine even use they even use Marduk for practical testing. Though perhaps it isn't my place to weigh in on the matter. It's alright, Rosette, you're alright. I trust you completely. Your company, though, are very shady. You got that right. And the one pushing that as a national policy is her papa. Hmm. I feel like Van knows, right? He knows everything, so I assume he does. So ZCF was the one that developed airships, right? Yes, they're a facility located in Zeiss. Le Bleu. You can find them there, find their products all across the Republic. Things like communications equipment or household goods. Being a friendly nation, they do have a cooperative enough partnership with Vern, I suppose. That's Ren, right? Welcome back, my darling. She knows all about the Bell, as we know. Oh, hello there, General Kennedy. Hiya, Van and friends. Hiya, Odette. 
She's so cheery. I like her. Not the one on the right, but I like Hodette. And look at you go on, yes. Hard at work, I see. <laughs> Always. Hmm. God damn it. Liven up, Albert. We heard what you were doing earlier. You're researching with your co-workers as part of your visitation, yeah? I am. I hope you don't mind me going off on my own. Well, she's putting the work in. You guys are busy. <laughs> we do. I have personal connections with ZCF and the Foundation, you see. On the statement. So I thought this would be the perfect place to get a first-hand look at International Technological Exchange. Who could be a nail that? What she said. As someone from the Empire, it's a topic I personally can't get enough of. Oh, Julian's cheered up! Finally. And I heard that they make memory courts of films and stuff. How could I not want to come? Aw. How nice. I'm sure there'll be an endless amount of information to absorb there. Just leave this part to us. We'll be sure to write up a report for... Nice, they're doing my homework. I like that. But you better nab us some sweet scoops in exchange. <gasps> what are ah. students doing here? Oh, of course. The educational visitation. You're evil. Just gonna make that guess. You look like the evil one. <laughs> well, we didn't mean to crowd up the path. Wait, I've seen him before. I think I recognize him too. I'm sure you do. He's rather famous. Please say I'm recording. Thank you. That would have been super awkward by this point. Greetings, Professor. My name is Ren Bright. I've heard all about you from a certain other professor. Ah, I didn't realize you were studying abroad here. Always get an introduction. Professor Yang Cronkite. Totally evil. That Cronkite. white streak. I believe evil. this is our first time meeting in person. Plus purple eyes. Evil. I found your papers fascinating, I must say. Welcome to Basel. Oh, my thank you. Huh? Papers? Oh, he's the one who sent it. Sent it, sent it to, my God. You keep... So on to have my work read by such a brilliant mind. Might I trouble you for some time to chat in the near future? I would welcome the chance. Though I'll have to pass on speaking at length with your classmates. They're not worthy of my respect. Now I am a busy man, I'm afraid. So if you don't mind, I will bid you farewell. Why did you look at me funny? Mmm. Sus. Well, that stick couldn't be far off. <laughs> oh, Aaron, stop with the one-liners. <laughs> Actually, don't. They are hilarious. Well, that stick couldn't be any far up as Anus, but he's got the chops to back it up. Yeah, his background is Eastern, right? That was Professor Yang Konkai, the young genius carrying the Republic's engineering community on his shoulders. He's been presenting groundbreaking tech across all kinds of fields since before the war two years ago. Oh, now you mention him, I think I saw him in the Tyrell Times. Um, I did as well. I haven't read any of those books. My <laughs> apologies. Oops. He said he's he said to be a genius, the likes of which we haven't seen since Professor Hamilton. And how are you connected to someone like him? R I believe the others are waiting. She's so good. <laughs> she could blow everyone off so easily. Screenshot. I was awaiting, so how about we go? Don't be late for the meetup, Arnez. Otherwise, I'll have to give you a good spanking. Don't. I know what you're thinking right now. Don't. This is an innocent game. I know, I know. Have fun leading everyone. <laughs> oh, I love Ren. She's too cool. Literally, she is too cool. She better be playable. Because she's, she's been playable in like every game, so it better be this one. Uh, hold on, Ren. Don't think you can get away with not answering. <laughs> well then, good luck with your work. Ta-ta, children. Except for Albert. Honestly. Shall we? Yes, let's give this art all. Ooh. Okay, so we are definitely going to have to talk to everyone. I get that now, so let's roll. And then, I assume it's probably one of these. So let's roll. Oh my god, there's toilets. Sorry, this is... Is that a hole in the floor? No. I'm... I know this is, uh... Why am I showing this? But I've never seen a toilet in a trail. It's, oh no, there has been. There was one in the office, right. Still, this is weird. I've never seen toilets before. Indeed. And it, indeed, Reset gets it. God damn it. This place is amazing. They've got bathrooms. My god, these shops. They look so modern. They're like nowadays time shots. You're so much better than Erebonia. I thought he was a cardboard cutout and, and he moved and it freaked me out. <laughs> Why you look so weird there? Okay, fair enough. What have you got for me, Manager Rockadag? Hello there. Oh, okay, so you're the shop. Okay. Again, stuff's so expensive, man. I ain't got any. Well, actually, no, it's not that bad. I'm saving for the slots first before I start buying more. I feel like that's a better way. No, nothing new there. Nothing new again. Because if I look here, 
Yeah, I want to get fairies and Arnais. I want to get fairies physical and Arnais magical. And then I'll start buying more stuff. Again. But we don't have enough for any of that. Hello there. Ooh. Ooh, who's that for? Aaron. He doesn't deserve anything. He deserves nothing. And the watch. Who's the watch you good for? Rosette. No. Dingo. Ah, makes more sense. Ooh, is that the last one of them? That might be the last cap, I think. Maybe. Ooh. See you again. Thank you, my dude. Well, then, I remember the buttons. Oh, I thought I had a uh, connection event. I don't. Boom. I'll take that. Boom. You're welcome, Aaron. Thanks, yeah. man. I can actually give them now. Why is it sometimes I can't? I don't get it. Anyway, let's move along. Um, I don't think the others are back yet. Ooh. Okay. Oh, it's just a hotel again. Okay. Let me just talk about the other school kids. Oh, this is where they're staying, isn't it? Mm, that makes sense. Hello there. So, Aramis Academy is visiting her. No recall them doing that in the previous years. Guess this year's been really good for them. Well, Basel's a wonderful place for students to learn more about engineering. Hope to see that firsthand. I'm dying. And Big Tech isn't all we have either. Look around. The geography here is simply breathtaking. I mean, it is. Even the view from here. Actually, no, the views from here is a bit crap. But the other views have been amazing. Ooh, our food is well off the trip, too. Well, where? Hit me up with the food, my dude. Can I go upstairs? Whoops. They've blocked it off, but there's people up there. Yeah, that's where the Aramis, Aramis kids are staying. Good point, Aaron. Nice chime in there, my dude. You're so helpful. He's not. <laughs> oh! Oh, more toilets! What is this? Why is there toilets now? My god, this place is so advanced. They have toilets. What kind of place, my god? Van, I know what you're thinking. I can already imagine Van licking... Oh, no, he can't get there. I can imagine him stretching over this barrier and licking the windows, to be honest. That's how much he likes his cars, but let's go in. Basil Motor Pavilion. And it's cutscene time. Damn. Look at that, legend. Wow, there's so many cars. I had heard about its capacity. It's very impressive seeing it in person. Welcome to automotive heaven. I tried to do it. Homer gurgling, but it didn't work, did it? No. <laughs> the motor pavilion where all the big manufacturers struck the stuff before they hit the market. Burns big here. <laughs> Naturally. They got a bunch of mates under their wing. Lino Inge! Red Star and ETWS. That's your big four. This is where they show off all their latest and greatest stuff. And for gearheads like me, it's both a peek at the new model year and a chance to yoink some of the ideas for our own projects. Ooh. Whenever I come to Basel, you better hit this place up. Every time. THE most important place in the city. Full stop. There you go. That's great, Grandpa. Now let's get you. <laughs> Aaron, my god. Uh, I see. I do hear that the four manufacturers compete with each other a lot. That they have their own specialities. Nonetheless, they boost each other to innovate. Does that factor into the showroom too? Oh yeah. Those guys are ruthless. They all specialize in different things, but when the markets collide, you bet they're at each other's throats. And that's good for the customer. It's good when they try to kill each other. Nice, I like that. Lino and Ingo, especially. They both manufacture their cars here in Basel. So you headhunt and poach from each other like nobody's business. We get time to kill. I highly recommend stopping by here and shooting this shit with the salespeople. They might convert you. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Screenshot, boom. ADLs kill me. Or him. <laughs> Aaron, no. His passion for cars is already evident with his truck. It's natural that he'd be drawn here. We might as well take a look now that we're here, already here. God damn right, aren't it? Wait, what? I wanted to- I wanted to look at the- I, I wanted to look. You wouldn't let me look in the- uh, I'd say we've seen everything there is to see in Newtown. That said, looks like we'll have to go to the Institute for that request from the assistant. The one about that professor abusing his power, eh? Doesn't seem like something outsiders like us should get in the middle of. But I'm concerned since it was posted as a false potato. I wonder if we can find a way for all of us to get into the institute. Like with the Aerotram, access requires rank C certifi certification or higher. Hmm. It'd be nice if we could have l put on the pressure and get our ranks raised. That won't work here. Not enough time. So how about we have a little talk? With who? Ah, the kiddo from earlier. Katro. Yes. Wasn't as bad as about it as the CEO, but he still had his doubts about us. 
Well, if pushing doesn't work, we just got to pull. <laughs> Thanks for being our go-between, Arnie. Uh, wait, what? What am I, what, what am I doing? What, what? Uh, for what? Didn't you and Kata? Plus, he fancies Arne, so he'll give her anything she wants. It's a good plan. You got it. You guys seem to hit it off. Guess it's because you're uh, so close in age. He'll be up for talking to you. Just make it seem like you've got problems and he can solve them. Damn. Oh, I don't think I'll need to go that far. I'm sure if I'm just honest and upfront with him, he'll listen. But I'm happy to help. Once things settle down, I'll give him a call on my Zypher. Ha. Uh, girl doesn't have a clue, huh? <laughs> it's quite charming how unaware she is of her appeal. I mean, yeah, she, doesn't, she, she probably doesn't know that she's very attractive. We know this. She's very cute. I don't really get what you're saying, but I know we can count on eyes to handle this. <laughs> oh, Barry. Barry, you were... Uh, every time there was a bath session, you brought up two dis very big things. So I think you do get it. Kind of. I'm not going to talk to him yet. So wait, so what do I... Now I've got to run all the way back there. God damn it, game. Uh... That is an interesting name your parents gave you, my dude. I wonder if they were upset about having a, a boy. <laughs> Dick. They said they didn't know if they had been RC tournament this month. Man, I was so ready to beat Malia this time too. Can that? Can we have some mini games, please? I like. Them. Well, if there's no Tony, then I'll make my own or something. I want to challenge her again, and this time, I'm gonna win. Or my name ain't Dick. Indeed. I agree. Indeed, Rosette gets it. Boom. Man, there's just something about cars. Having all that power at your fingertips, feeling the wind rushing by. Eh. Acting. I see cars are cool and all. Once I'm old enough to get my license, I want to take a real car out for a spin. Goddamn right. Damn, this is an ingot, right? Ooh, a brown one. Don't like brown. No, it's cool. That's a limo. Okay, I'm, I'm showing you all the cars, Edwin. I know that's what you care about. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Oh, yes. Oh, this kid's it. Apparently, I've spoken to you. Have I? If you need to tell the big four apart, look the further than their management strategies. James looks like he's having fun. Whack! <laughs> Hope he finds a way to move on from all that. Oh, maybe. Okay. He just wow, check out these cars. There's so many. I and know, they right? all look so different. That is one ugly car, my dudes. Ooh. Had a red star over there? <laughs> Damn, that's sexy. Oh, it is. Ooh. <laughs> it's the best, ain't it? If looks could kill, <laughs> I'd be dead right now. My God, Van, you have a problem. Boot. <laughs> Van is definitely in his element here. Some of these look great. Some of these look very... Ooh. Uh, that's a lot of adverts for this one car. This might be what Maxime, Maxime Lugon wore, drove. War. Is it? Is it Maxime Lugons? I don't know, probably. Hey, um. Doobie doobie doo. What can I do for you? You're interested in the. Oh, hold on. I see that glint in your eye. You're a fan, aren't you? Good catch. My pickup's my baby. <laughs> it's my child. I actually took it out here with me. Hey, a man of culture. We like them. We like the people who are men of cultures. I can tell by that look in your eyes that you know quality when you see it. We pride ourselves on how modular our cars are. They're strong, they're durable, and you can customize them however you want. I saw you walk in with your eyes just jump right at to sus the suspension and cooling. I know those are, are the popular mods on our models. You're an avid aftermarket shopper yourself. If I had to guess, you know exactly where to look. I'm not going to buy anything. I know you're trying to butter me up. I'm not actually going to buy anything, okay? So cool it, okay? Oh yeah, you're discharged. But you know, it takes that kind of same kind of mindset to know people like doing them. So something tells me you're a gearhead yourself. Am I right? Hehe, <laughs> you got me. I probably spend half my, like half my bonuses on aftermarket mods. All right, fair enough. Got some photos on my new products here. You want to take a look? All right. Oh, I'll just be honoured. Oh god. I'm sorry. What kind of pimped out ride does an honest to god goddess Inga engineer come up with? Now you slacking off, <laughs> Aaron. I'm in the. Mo you right, was it? Oh, hey, she is. <laughs> oh dear, I love when they teleport. Part of what makes this job so satisfying is meeting customers and getting their feedback on our products. You're really hammering how utilitarian and customizable our cars are. And that gets us more specific customer demographic compared to Lino. So when I talk to a customer about our models and aftermarket mods, we really see eye to eye a lot. Brethren. It's like making a friend. Oh, it's cute. You're right, Chamberlain. I think it's everything, right? Looks like it. Oh! 
What the hell? You two are here. <laughs> they're the race. They're for the racing group. What the? Hello. How are you doing? Oh, yeah. I don't think I expect to see you here. Oh, hey, you two. Didn't know you were coming. Didn't know you were coming down here. We're planning a big drive, so we figured, why not? We wanted to check out those new models from Autumn. Man. Ooh, these things are up. Cosmetically, it doesn't look much different from my old model. It looks exactly the same. I've got to be honest. It's almost like it's the same uh, graphics model or whatever. <laughs> anyway, for my old model. But the suspension here is... Man, this thing's just going to fly right through the corners. That's Inga! Don't know why I do that, but it's fun. For you, they know how to get the best out of their parts. And the, are those new tyre compounds too? Haven't seen those before. <laughs> yeah, they're always looking for ways to improve. <laughs> they're all so happy. As if it wasn't enough of a kid in the candy store. Not knocking it though. Aaron looks like he's having fun too. You like cars as well if you were here. But you're not following me because you're not at the party. But anyway. This pavilion does seem to draw like-minded fans. I like you too. You're alright. My people, I love you. Okay, I respect you. I must understand uncomfortably close to you. My uncle was an Inga engineer, so I'm a big Inga fangirl too. I drive a Lino though, it's what I can afford. Hey, there's nothing wrong with that. It won't start somewhere, alright. I really want to get a sports car though. Once I scrounge up enough mirror. God, God damn it, I just can't wait. Um, I saved a bit of money by buying the last gen model, but I still have to take it out, stake out a 10 year loan. Worth it though, there's nothing like having your very own speed machine. But I can't go cheating on my baby with some shiny model. I gotta break her in first. I was going to make a joke there about comparisons, but I won't because that would be rude and naughty and I would get told off, so don't judge me. So, we have to do the main quest in order to do the Force G we're doing, right? Oh, I remember, no, I almost remember the button. <laughs> so, in order to do this, I have to go to the Institute. It's a required one, so... This is going to be the bonus one, okay. I don't know how long the episode was. <laughs> I don't know if I'll include that into the last one, but I guess that might be the end of this episode. I don't know. If you're seeing this, then I guess it is. If you like what you saw, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the actual force tea that we're going to do. So, yes. Charles.